Hi, hello guys! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So what are we going to do is now to multiply fractions. Okay, so here is our first example. So what are we going to do basically is to multiply both numerators. Okay, then for the denominator, what are we going to do is we're going to multiply both denominators. So 3 times 5 is equal to 15, then 4 times 8 is equal to 32. So here is the product of the two given fractions. Okay, so here is our second example. Okay, so we're going to do the same technique. However, we have noticed what is common between those two. So, the common is 10. So, what are we going to do is to cancel. Then, what will remain is 7 over 11. Okay. So, what are we going to do here is we're going to do the same way. However, what are we going to do is to identify the greatest common factor between 4 and 16. So, what are the factors of 4? 4 times 1, then for 16, 4 times 4. So, the greatest common factor between those two is 4. So, we're going to divide 4, divided by 4, so it will be 1. Then, 16 divided by 4, it will be 4. So, how about 5 and 15? So, what are the factors of 5? So, 5 times 1, then 5 times 3. So, the greatest common factor between those two is 5. So, 5 divided by 5 is equal to 1. Then, 15 divided by 5 is equal to 3. So, 1 times 3 is equal to 3. Then, 1 times 4 is equal to 4. Okay? So, this is now the lowest term of the fraction. Why are we going to do the cross cancellation? So, we don't need to find the lowest term because... What we're doing right now is we are simplifying the lowest term while we're multiplying through cross cancellation. Okay, so the fractions we have are the mixed numbers. So what are we going to do is to convert each of them into improper fractions. So we're going to copy the denominators. Then what are we going to do is to multiply the denominator with the mixed number then add it with the numerator. So, multiplication comes first. Okay, so now we're going to simplify. So, what we have noticed is there are fives in each of the side. So, 5 and 5 will be cancelled. Then, the greatest common factor between 3 and 12 is 3. So, 3 divided by 3 is 1. Then, 12 divided by 3 is 4. So, what will remain is 4 because 4 times 1. Okay. So, what are we going to do with the whole number? Multiplying with the fraction is we're going to multiply this whole number with the numerator. So, what is the greatest common factor between 14 and 21? Okay, so what are the factors of 14? 7 times 2, then for 21, 7 times 3. So, the greatest common factor is 7. So, 14 divided by 7 is 2, while for 21, 21 divided by 7 is 3. So, 2 times 4 is equal to 8, then over 3. So, the mixed number is 2 and 2 thirds because when we divide, 3 will be outside, then 8 will be inside, then the quotient will be 2, then 2 times 3 will be 6, then 8 minus 6 will be 2. So this is the mixed number, this is the numerator, and this is the denominator. So, okay, so do not forget to subscribe my channel and click the notification bell. So have a great learning day. God bless you.